What's up, you guys? It is RJ. We are back with Wuha. 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 Not sure why I added the ha part in there, but Wuha. Um, this is a group that I checked out in a Catching Up With K-Pop video uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, I really, really liked Blush a lot. I play that song a lot now. Um, so you guys were telling me I should do a whole video on Wuha, which I said I would do if I ended up liking Blush, and I did. So here we are. Um, we have, I have five songs here. Um, I think they have an extra MV, but I can't include it in this video because this video will get blocked. I'm actually kind of risking it having five in here. I normally only do four, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We'll see what happens. But we have a self-titled debut track, Purple, Catch the Stars, Danger, and Roller Coaster. Um, yeah. Let's go. FYI, you guys, it is uh, monsooning outside. <laughs> so I apologize if there, the rain is a distraction, if the lights flicker for any reason, because it is actually like super dark outside and it's only like five o'clock. So uh, pray for me. <laughs> anyway, Wua. I believe this is our debut song, right? So yeah, let's go. 2020. It's not where I thought this was going. I thought this was gonna be cute as hell. Oh my God. Wait, wait, what, what? Oh, I love that. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, I like the Hua Hua Yu. It almost sounds like the same, the name of the group. Hey, there's six of them. Ooh, the choreo. That bass. <laughs> this is the cutest move ever. I wonder if it's the same girl, her. Okay, I'm enjoying this chorus the second time around. First time it was weird. I like that sound effect, it's cool. This bridge. So very close up shots. Look like her voice. Her choreo is very interesting. <laughs> wow you know what um i like that <laughs> that was very interesting that was 
Not at all what I expected, to be honest with you. I, I guess I kind of went into this basing my, my thoughts on what to expect from each particular song based on the thumbnail. And the thumbnail was super cute. It was that girl with the, the tinier one. The far, I think she's the one on the far, far left over here. But um, wow, this was, this was an interesting song. I like her voice as well. I liked her high note. This MV, I don't know if they're from a smaller company, but something about the video felt, it was filmed on a, a very particular type of camera. Everything felt very smoothed out. It felt like six girls in a dream and we just decided to make a music video for our song. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I also noticed that there's six girls here because there's only five in blush. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> going through puberty apparently. Five in blush and I guess someone left at some point. So I guess I'll come across that at some point. I'm not sure at what point, but we'll see. But yeah, very interesting song. Um, honestly, threw me for a loop a little bit. But even though it had a bit of an attitude and I did like a lot of the choreo moments, it still had a bit of a cuteness to it. And I think that just had something to do with like the choreo and uh, just the delivery of certain lines. Um, but yeah, I had, a, I had fun with that song. My little pony. <laughs> I mean, come on now. What's about to happen here? The song is called Purple. Let's go. Wow, the way they introduce their... Cotton candy. Oh, her voice is beautiful. I like this. What is this? A pre chorus? I'm into it. No, oh, this is the pre chorus. I love her voice. <laughs> the lyrics. This is so cute, but like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> The lightning, the flash. Oh my God, sorry. Whoa, this chorus. Oh, is it you? Is that her? Wait, there's five of them already. What on earth? Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my God, wait. Hold on. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> like, I mean, I love this color. So this is, wow. I mean, just, yeah, beautiful, beautiful music video. Um, Wow, you know what? You can't judge a book by its cover, apparently. Cause again, I, I assumed where this song was going to go and it did not do that. While it kind of still had elements of cuteness, 
the beat was definitely a lot harder than I would have expected it to be, um, especially the way the song wrapped up. I don't think you guys can see it, but the lightning is like going off over here. It's freaking me out, but I have headphones, so I'm good. But yeah, it's just like, they're, they're really surprising me in, the, in a really good way. I like what I'm hearing and the set pieces are all just so cool. There's a lot more attitude than I guess I would have expected coming from a, this. Like this is just so, I, I don't know. I, I like it. It looks really cool. And all the girls look great. This girl's voice is so pretty. I also just really enjoyed the lyrics as well. Um, wow, her eyebrows, really cool. Yeah, just all the looks, the entire thing was a lot of fun, again. So I'll have to look up the uh, K-pop profiles to see which member left, because we're, we're at five really fast. <laughs> and I think this is, I think I'm doing these in order. So I'm not totally sure at what point Purple came or how long Purple came after Wu. It's crazy out there, y'all. Nature is, nature is a beast. Anyway, um, let's go to the next one. So it couldn't have been that far because Wu was in 2020, Catch the Stars in 2021. I didn't catch the date on the previous one, but it had to be pretty quickly that the other member left. So um, it's interesting. Anyway, Catch the Stars, let's go. I like the way they kind of incorporate the name of their group in the songs a lot. <laughs> oh, I love the harmony. Beautiful. <laughs> Very cute. Well, oh, I like her lower tone. I like the feel of this chorus. That was a really nice cut. <laughs> she is so adorable. That was adorable. <laughs> that one, super cute. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Probably not a song I put on very often, but I did enjoy the chorus a lot. I think that was probably my favorite part. I think the there was like strum of a guitar in there, 
um, that really caught my attention. The choreo was super cute. The girls were super cute. Um, and yeah, the video was a lot of fun. That was a good time. Okay, our next one is called Danger. Let's go. Oh, not the cupcake. It's an interesting beat. Oh, this, this pre-chorus. I love her voice. I love her voice. I like this beat. Wow, this I keep seeing this girl and she's reminding me of someone. Who? Ning Ning? Espa? Wow. I really like this pre-chorus. This chorus is growing on me more. Outfits! I mean, it's giving South LA. <laughs> A particular neighborhood. Oh, that ended too quickly. I feel like now when I go back and look and see if there's, I feel like there is a lot of purple. Is purple their color or something? Because I'm starting to notice that purple is a very huge theme in a lot of their music videos. I wouldn't say so much the last one, but definitely purple. <laughs> um, and I can't really remember if it was in uh, Wu or not, but this one definitely had a lot of it. A lot of sweets, kind of like purple, cotton candy-ish and whatnot. The Wi-Fi is acting up, oh no. Anyway, um, this one was fun. The chorus, when it first came in, I wasn't totally sure about it. I'm not like the biggest fan of, um, those very electronic instrumental choruses. Uh, if they end up being like the post chorus, that's a different story. But when they're like really kind of heavy in the chorus, it's it's kind of hit or miss for me. So the second time it came around, I actually enjoyed it a bit more. The ending of the song was definitely really, really cool. So I feel like I would definitely listen to this again. I feel like the same girls keep standing out to me. This one in particular, while her, her stare is very intense. I guess I just got, you know, pause in a particular moment. 
The more I look at her now, I don't see Ning Ning. Maybe it's just like emotion or something. Um, also, this girl in the elevator, her rap is very cool. I like her um, her delivery. Um, but yeah, really cool set pieces. Let's go into the last one. All right, you guys, our final song is Roller Coaster. Let's go. I feel like any song called Roller Coaster is going to be a good one. At least all the songs that I've liked called Roller Coaster are good ones. No way, I still see it. <laughs> Ooh. The blonde girl is so pretty. That do 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 is so sick. Yeah. Wow. Is this the elevator girl? She's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I love that second verse. Oh, no. I thought they're gonna go hey again. <laughs> They're tricking me. I like the production of this. That sound effect is so cool. That was very cute and very fun. Had a very like 80s kind of throwbacky um, vibe to it with the the drums. Um, those are called particular, I don't know, I don't know the terms, but just even the melody, it had like a very 80s vibe to it. That was fun, you guys. I enjoyed that. A lot of fun, a lot of good songs. Um, I think I liked every single song, actually. I think Blush is definitely still my favorite though. I think that's probably my favorite one that I've heard from them. Uh, I still have the other one to check out and I don't know the, the name of it, but um, I'll definitely check it out on my own. But yeah, I'll have to check out their K-pop profiles as well to see who's who um, and who the sixth member was and maybe why she left. I'm sure that's probably in that thing as well. But yeah, all in all, I enjoyed Wua. I'll have to look out for them the next time they come back. They make some very interesting music. And like I said, you can't judge a book by its cover because I definitely thought we were going a particular direction and we did a lot of different things. A lot of things that I enjoyed. So that was the best part. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video later.